the expansion of bracket 1 plus x to the power of n. ncr minus 1. ncr and ncr plus 1 form an arithmetic sequence. Find the general formula of n and r. You may use the chapters below to jump to the sections of the thinking process, different parts of the detailed solutions, and analysis of answers. Hi there, welcome to my channel Mathusiasm. Today I want to share with you this interesting question of binomial coefficients and arithmetic sequence. Without further ado, let's get started. First of all, we see that in this Pascal's triangle, the three numbers 7, 21, and 35 have something special. 7 plus 14 is 21, and 21 plus 14 is 35. The neighboring two numbers have a common difference. Therefore, these three numbers form an arithmetic sequence. And this is the first arithmetic sequence in this Pascal's triangle. So our question is, what is the second arithmetic sequence? The third one? Or in general, is there a formula to find out the relation between n and r to get an arithmetic sequence? To solve the problem, we start with the formula of binomial coefficients n c r, which is n factorial over r factorial times n minus r factorial. Next, for arithmetic sequence a1, a2, and a3, we have the common difference a2 minus a1 is equal to a3 minus a2. In other words, we have 2 times a2 is equal to a1 plus a3. Now, if we have three binomial coefficients forming a arithmetic sequence, ncr minus 1, ncr, and ncr plus 1, then we will have the equation 2 times ncr is equal to ncr minus 1 plus ncr plus 1. Using the formula for the three terms, then after simplification, we will get a quadratic equation with some unknown coefficients. To solve it, we need the quadratic formula x is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. In particular, we will focus on the term b squared minus 4ac, which is the discriminant. So that's all about the thinking process. Let's jump to the detailed solutions. In part 1, we will apply the formula of NCR to obtain an equation and to simplify it. First of all, because we have NCR minus 1, NCR and NCR plus 1 forming an arithmetic sequence, therefore we have a relation between these three terms, which is 2 times the middle term NCR is equal to NCR minus 1 plus NCR plus 1. Left hand side is 2 times N factorial over R factorial times N minus R factorial. On the right hand side, the first term is N factorial over R minus 1 factorial and then N minus in brackets R minus 1 the whole term factorial. For the second term, it is n factorial divided by r plus 1 factorial times n minus bracket r plus 1, the whole thing factorial. On both sides of the equation, we have n factorial, so let's cancel them out. And next, let's focus on these terms, the r factorial, r minus 1 factorial, and r plus 1 factorial. We'll multiply both sides of the equation to get rid of this denominator. So on both sides, we'll multiply r plus 1 factorial. So next, left hand side is 2 
over n minus r factorial and we cancel out r factorial to get only r plus 1 in the numerator next for the first term on the right hand side we have n minus r plus 1 factorial in the denominator and in the numerator r minus 1 factorial and r plus 1 factorial after cancelling out we get only r times r plus 1 for the second term of the right hand side we have n minus r minus 1 factorial in the denominator and for numerator r plus 1 factorial both are cancelled out so we get only 1 next we'll look at these three denominators circled in green so we'll multiply both sides with the largest number out of these three obviously we will multiply n minus r plus 1 factorial on both sides by doing so we will get rid of all the fractions left hand side is 2 times r plus 1 after cancelling out n minus r factorial we will have n minus r plus 1 on the right hand side for the first term n minus r plus 1 factorial both are cancelled out so we only get r times r plus 1 and for the second term on the right hand side n minus r minus 1 factorial and n minus r plus 1 factorial we'll get n minus r plus 1 times n minus r now we're going to expand both sides to simplify the equation the left hand side is 2nr minus 2r squared plus 2r plus 2m minus 2r plus 2 the right hand side is r squared plus r plus n squared minus nr minus another nr plus r squared plus n minus r on the right hand side we have plus r and minus r cancel out on the left 2r and minus 2r cancel out now we're gonna rewrite it as a quadratic equation in r on the right we have 2r squared on the left we have negative 2r squared putting this to the right hand side we get 4r squared next for the r term left hand side 2nr right hand side negative 2nr so we get negative 4nr finally for terms in terms of n only we get 2n and under the n on right hand side 2 and n square so finally we get plus n square minus n minus 2 is equal to 0 so we are ready to solve this quadratic equation in class 2. In the second part, we are going to apply the quadratic formula to solve this equation and to discuss the nature of the roots. So we have r is equal to negative b, which is negative minus 4n plus or minus the square root of b squared negative 4n whole square minus 4ac minus 4 times 4 times n square minus n minus 2 and then all over 2 times 8 which is 2 times 4 this is equal to 4n plus or minus the square root of 16n square minus 16n square plus 16n plus 32 divided by 8 cancel out 16n square and negative 16n square so r is 4n plus or minus for the terms 16 and 32 take out a 16 times n plus 2 the square root over 8 we simplify the square root term 4n plus or minus square root of 16 is 4 and then square root of n plus 2 over 
8. Cancel out the 4. So the simplest form of the roots are n plus or minus the square root of n plus 2 over 2. At this point, we're going to discuss the discriminant n plus 2. Because r is an integer, from what we know of ncr terms. Therefore, n plus 2 is a square number. Therefore, we can let the following. Let n plus 2 is equal to p square, where p is an integer. So n is equal to p square minus 2. Now we're ready to make use of this result to find out the formula for R as well. In the final part, we're going to find out the formula of N and R so that the binomial coefficients form a mathematic sequence. Previously, we got this equation relating R and N using quadratic formula. And we also know that N is a square number minus 2. Now we're going to put this back into the original equation to solve for r. Now r is equal to p squared minus 2 plus or minus p over 2. Separating the positive and negative values, you have r is equal to p squared minus p minus 2 over 2 or r is equal to p squared plus p minus 2 over 2. We can factorize both expressions easily. R is equal to p minus 2 times p plus 1 over 2, or R is equal to p plus 2 times p minus 1 over 2. Now we're going to discuss the range of values of p. By the given condition, n c r minus 1, we know that r minus 1 should be greater than or equal to 0. In other words, r is greater than or equal to 1, which is a positive integer. And let's check all the four terms in the brackets. We'll have p minus 2 being the smallest one, and that means p minus 2 should also be positive, greater than or equal to 1. So p is greater than or equal to 3. In order to obtain a general formula starting from positive integers 1, 2, 3, so on and so forth, we let k is equal to p minus 2, where k is a positive integer. Then we put this back to obtain the formula of n and r in terms of k. Therefore, n is equal to k plus 2 whole square minus 2 and r is equal to k times k plus 3 over 2 or r is equal to k plus 1 times k plus 4 over 2. So we're done. Finally, we will analyze the results by putting values of k back. In the part of analysis, we will verify the formula of n and r by putting some values of k back. First of all, if k is equal to 1, then n is equal to 7, r is equal to 2 or 5. When r is equal to 2, then the three binomial coefficients are 7c1, 7c2, and 7c3. And they are exactly the same as 7, 21, and 35, as we have seen previously. Next, for r is equal to 5, then the three terms are 7c4, 7c5, and 7c6. And they are the other three terms on the same row, 35, 21, and 7. And they are actually the reverse of the first one. The reason is that because Pascal's triangle is symmetrical about the center. 
So we have verified the first alphabetic sequence. Now let's find out the second one. We put k is equal to 2, then n is equal to 14, and r is equal to 5 or 9. For n is equal to 14 and r is equal to 5, put them back into the three binomial coefficients, then we will have 14 c4, 14 c5, and 14 c6, which are equal to 1001, 2002, and 3003. And obviously, these three numbers form an arithmetic sequence with common difference 1001. And to obtain more arithmetic sequence, you can put k equals to 3, 4, 5, so on and so forth. And actually, there are infinitely many arithmetic sequence in the Pascal's triangle. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give me a like, share, and subscribe my channel. I'm happy to see your views in the comment section below. That's all I have for you today. I'll see you next time. Bye.